I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Hey there, explorers and adventurers, it is Bosco bringing you another video. Today we are going to be reacting to Dark Tales, Season 1, Episode 19, The Secrets of Castle McDuck. Interesting. Okay, I'm down. I'm down to find out what the secrets of Castle McDuck are. I feel like we're going to get a lore in this one because the last episode was on with Don Carnage or whatever his fucking name is. The Seahawk Pirate. And it was very episodic. There wasn't a lot of lore or anything happened in it. Little bits of character development, especially from Scrooge and Dewey and stuff. But I am excited to see if this is going to be like another lore heavy episode. And it could be. Before we do that though, usual YouTube <laughs> thumbs up video, click subscribe, leave me those fake spoilers down in the comment section because you all know I love reading through your fake spoilers and if you want access to the full raw early uncut version of all my reactions you can click the link in the video description down below it will take you to my patreon but that isn't a fan in around so here it is and we're going to click play and get started let's go oh right he just comes flying off the cliff <laughs> remember okay. lads no sudden movements no eye contact if you're cornered the heartless heathens will give you no quarter. It's going to be like family or something, isn't it? It's going to be something stupid. They're going to think it's like some sort of monster and it's going to be family. And then the secrets, it's going to be maybe family secrets? What is Dewey? Oh, Dewey's got the spear of Celine. Oh, and it's like an Instagram reel. Oh my gosh, she's going to find out like what kind of person his mum was. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Why get them in a panic when this could all be a dead end? No. No. Why do you oh, will this be the episode where he does actually confide in his brothers? Because it's, it's clear that we're coming back into the family. It's definitely a family episode, which I'm very excited for. I wonder if we'll find out more about his mum. I wonder if that's what the secrets are, maybe. Or if it's going to be more about Scrooge or like their other family members that we don't really know that much about. Donald isn't along for this ride, which is interesting. I have noted that. But I wonder if that's setting up for the fact that maybe his brothers at the end of this are going to be told. And it could be done in like a way where it's kind of cut off where it's like I've got some stuff to tell you and then that's the end of the episode maybe I don't know every oh, five years the mists of dismal downs part enough to reveal the home of the lost treasure of the Knights Templar brace yourselves kids jettison that jalopy from my driveway this instant you did beat daddy oh my god oh my god wait <laughs> hold up if he's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old because he ended up in a demon dimension and 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 frozen in ice for like a hundred years and like all these other things like we know why Scrooge is like hundreds of years old but if this is his dad first of all I love the fact that the line is exactly the same like it's exactly the same as what Scrooge said to Donald in episode one I caught that very good but hello how is this whole family hundreds potentially like a thousand year old how the, the the numbers are not adding up. <laughs> if these people are not Scottish, they've got very good Scottish accents. Welcome all of you to Castle MacDuck. Your parents are yeah. alive? Exactly! Thank you, Huey! I'm so glad one of you has your fucking head screwed on. It's the guy with the cap, of course. What the fuck? What the? Okay. You're still alive. I know. A curse on us. That is a not fair. Curse? Very kindly rebuilt our ancestral castle for them, and I may have used some discount mystical druid stones that accidentally granted them immortality. I didn't. Oh, sure. Of course, sure, yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. Perfect. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. This is, yep, yeah, okay, yeah. Would you rather I'd let you pass or made you immortal? Neither is satisfactory. A uh. thoughtful son would know that. Wow. So he, his parents are like, his father especially, is just cannot be pleased. At all, ever. No matter what he chooses to do, father is never pleased. Gotcha. But his mum is very loving. Okay. Everything we talk, mysteries, secrets untold. Uh, she's not going to be too much help here, I don't think. Yeah. She's having a joy overload. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Louis Duck, future owner of this castle. This Templar trick. <laughs> future owner of this castle. Okay, Louis. Calm down. Calm down. Sure. Like, can I have it now or did 
do I have to wait to inherit it, or...? Simon McDuck was the accountant to the legendary Knights Templar. He hid their treasure somewhere in this castle. Only the laird of the castle knows where the Templar treasure is. Quit mentioning the treasure and act like we want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She absolutely does. She's very excited for this. I'm guessing that's his father is the the the, the laird of the castle. I should know most of these terms because I'm guessing most of them are Scottish and <laughs> historical and I'm just terrible at that kind of shit. I wonder if his dad does approve and does really. It's going to be interesting. I think there's going to be some serious family bonding happening in this episode, especially between Scrooge and his father. Sound familiar? He built a mysterious series of tunnels mm -hmm. under the castle. Some say he summoned a demon dog to stop the catacombs. Cool. They're just stories. No, they're not. Little Scroogey and Wizgill. Ah! Little Scroogey always wanted a dog. But we were too poor. Ah, so Scrooge always wanted a dog and there's some sort of hound guarding the treasure under... Coincidence or related? Did Scrooge get his dog and that's what's down there? I don't know. Buy a clump of hair from the local barber. Aww. Oh, Scrooge. Scrooge is so cute. Little baby Scrooge boy is so cute. Oh my god. But also, why does this guy over here in this picture, I know she introduced us to him, but like, why does he look like Flint Heart Gum Glum Gold or whatever his fucking name is? Not having to walk him. I'm not a child anymore. Then stop acting like one. Arm wrestling match! You and me, right now! Oh god. <laughs> Wait, I wanna know who won! It's gonna have been screwed, right? By that headlock, he put him in a headlock. Wow! Oh, young Scrooge! Oh, so teenage Scrooge! Oh, he's so cute! He's so cute! Oh my god, he's so cute! I was not prepared for cute baby Scrooge picture. He's such a cute little duckling! Oh! This could lead to the Knight's Templar treasure! To ensure the arrow miss its mark, pluck a ditty on an arc. Boys! I don't suppose you'd want to pinch his cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Louie, that was mean. That was mean but funny. Oh, no fucking way. So it is. No fucking way. We're definitely getting Della stuff. Oh my God. There's so much in this episode. I gotta solve it before they do to make sure it's nothing bad. Finding her. Uh, so they do uh, think she's a... All right. Let's solve a mystery. Just because there's a weird riddle in a mystical castle doesn't mean there's a mystery. You're gonna have to tell them eventually. Come on. We're in this together. The duck boy solving a huge family secret. That's cool. Oh, that is uh, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to work together, I think. Some letters are capitalized. B A G. Are these musical notes? Oh, well done, Huey. So along this path, are each of them going to have to use their own skills to like overcome an obstacle, proving to Dewey that he does need his brother's help? So that was Huey. So we're going to get a moment from Louis and then Dewey, maybe? Uh, first chair cello, junior woodchuck philharmonic orchestra. Of course, naturally. Stupid smart. You needed him. You wouldn't have figured that out yourself. Let alone been able to play the notes. Here's uh, the dog, I'm guessing. This is Scrooge's dog. Guys, this could be dangerous or boring. That Come on. Thing you've ever said. Yeah, exactly. You're not convincing anybody here, Dewey. Just be honest with them. Like, Louis's only really in it for the treasure. Huey would probably be more interested, but you have to at least tell them. These are the kind of values I try to instill in my own family. Warm memories. Togetherness. And where are the boys? Oh, probably off being supportive of each other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not at this current exact moment, but if you were around a tiny little bit, they kind of sort of were a little bit. Oh, just like, I, okay. The most articulate young lasses, and she is not here. <laughs> where did she start? <laughs> Yeah. Hi, you're a real family. Oh, look at the pictures in the background, though. Oh my goodness, that is good correlation to what the fuck is happening down here. Their poor mother, like Scrooge's poor mother. Say hello to your great nephew and my beloved ward, Donald. And that's oh boy, not. Oh boy! Oh boy! That's Quack. not. <laughs> Quack. That's not, oh, that is not gonna convince anybody. Oh man, how are we gonna find one gold key in all this? Well, good try everyone, you should head back, way to go. 
Yeah, there we go. There's Louis trial. I was wondering like who was gonna and of course I don't know why I didn't pick up on that the minute they stepped foot on all the gold keys. Louis trial. How am I supposed to protect them from the truth if they keep helping me find it? You're just gonna have to be honest. That's not good. He's a real family man, or my name isn't Launchpad McDonald Duck. Quack. Wow. Launchpad. <laughs> Wow, he's doing, there he is, okay good, so that was close, well done, a good save, a good save, that is definitely, yeah, okay, okay, that's good quality. I never lived here! Then pick the one furthest away from my line of sight, fine by me! Mm. Wow. More sheep's bladder? Sheep's bladder. Is that maybe a play on haggis? It's not bladder. Oh my god. It's lung. It's not that bad, okay? It's oats and lung. It's not that bad to eat, okay? If you think about it, it's not like animal smoke, okay? And it's nothing to do with the reproductive organs or the digestive system. It's literally one of the best internal organs you could probably eat. I'm Scrooge McDuck. I did everything else on my own. I'll yeah, you did. Treasure on my own. Good talk, Webby. <laughs> I love how useless she is this episode because she's just so overcome and they're probably going to leave before she actually pulls herself together enough to actually figure anything out or research anything or whatever but then maybe she has been doing stuff and it'll come back up in a few episodes time. I may have found a clue. Donald Has Uncle Donald been a ghost this whole time? No, he gets hurt way too often to be a ghost. Wait, True. the riddle was hidden on a portrait of Uncle Donald, which means it was meant for him. He knows that it's from his mum that wrote it. And if they call him uncle, that means that that's Donald's sister, right? Their, their mother. Hmm. Just a beat up old bag. No, that's his mother's bag. I'm sure it's Della. Here comes the dog. <laughs> the demon dog of Castle McDuck. Yeah, it's going to be Scrooge's, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's fucking terrifying though. No, 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 you have to tell them, you have to tell them! Yes. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Yes, okay, good. Finally, he's finally actually gonna have this conversation with his brothers. And I know we're getting on in episodes because this is 19 now, so we're almost at the end of season one, so it does make sense that we should actually be getting proper answers and stuff at this point. Okay. Is that his father? You look very alike. Daddy. Hi! Hi! Oh, you. I took a wrong time. I was looking for the bathroom. I. I. <laughs> oh, I saw we. We took a wrong turn. Whoops, a daisy. I don't care what you have to say. I won't tell you where the temple of treasure is then. I've never needed your help before and I don't need it now. Maybe he does. Kids. How do you know this is Mobs? I've uh, kind of been researching her on my own. You know, hearing it out loud, it comes off way worse than it sounded in my brain. Yes. How could you keep this from us? I know. She's trying to protect you from a potentially devastating revelation. She's our mom! I Can know, that's assist? true. First, I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to get hurt. And I couldn't tell you because I found out all this stuff and I didn't want you to hurt me. I'm sorry, okay? Oh, the animation there got really fluid. Look. First, I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to get hurt. There's so much animation happening there. Did they increase the budget for this? Like, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen them as animated. Like, everything from the hair to the eyes to the mouth to the body to the hands, everything is really animated. And I couldn't tell you because I found out all this stuff and I didn't want you See what I mean? Look at that. Look, there's so much going on. You're only sorry because you got caught. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, Louis. You kept a secret about mom. Hmm. That is not okay. Oh, we got a real moment from Louis that was nothing to do with treasure. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. It's too early in the day to start crying. Oh. No, you have to go against the moss. Just stop! Jesus I don't Christ! I need you. 
Everything I earned, I earned through my own hard work. I gave you that. Uh, my uh, number one game. But no. the ditch what? Back in my shoe shine days, I worked for hours. Was that his dad right there? On Bert's boots. He paid me with an American dime. Who do you think gave him the dime? Oh, right. And his boots. Oh my god, no! What? That is so cute! What? <laughs> oh my god! We were poor. I couldn't provide for you myself, so I had to give you a different gift. Self-reliance. Teaching you to work hard and fend for yourself. If I'm hard on you, lad, it's because I miss you, though. I miss you, too. Aww. Oh, and it took the two of them. Oh my god, that is so cute! I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. 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 He became so self-reliant. Ugh. And then he just got full of bitterness. Ugh. It's so cute. Where's it going to be? Is it going to be empty? Empty or something else? What is it? Keep searching for the treasure, Sonny. Maybe you'll actually learn how to save money if you have to earn it. Your da, dirty dingus. Wow. I cannot win with that old codger. <laughs> that old codger. I've not heard that in ages. <laughs> it's fucking glorious. <laughs> Scrooge doesn't even care. He's just like, it's so nice to just have you back, da. I should have told you. I'm sorry. Oh. I need your help. Oh my god. I think. What is that? What is that? Oh my god, the animation quality has gone right up for this. Your brothers will be there. Your brothers will have a trap. They'll have something. They'll. Fuck, do they? Yeah, there you go. There's your brothers. They got your back. Ooh. The clan McDuck! Oh, that's cool! That was like all their ancestors! That's cool! Oh, look, you can see them all! There's the ones that we heard the stories about! It worked! We gotta start doing that all the time! Yeah, did you didn't look behind you! Or was that meant to be metaphorical rather than actually physically happening? I just, I know the Scrooge has got a ghost butler, so anything could happen in the show. Oh, and they went back for their mum's stuff. Hat. That must be the borrowed crown from the riddle. So mom took his hat, hid it, and the elaborate riddles in the catacombs and the deadly demon dog were, we're all just an elaborate prank on Uncle Donald? <laughs> <laughs> just a prank, really? Damn it, show, give me something. Fuck you, but why has it got her clothes? Ugh. Did you rub a pencil over this? But have I taught you nothing? Junior Woodchuck World 217, rub all documents with a pencil. Ooh. Oh, Spear of Selene. Wait, 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 wait. I need to see it! All documents with a pencil. I'm so stressed. And it's got dates. Wait, those are dates. Those are motherfucking dates! Hold on. 2000 and something. We can't really see the last. I love how this whole family is meant to be Scottish and yet they've wrote Americanized dates on it. Okay, so. Right, let's see. Well, I suppose only really Scrooge's side of the family, but like most of the family's history comes from. Anyway. Okay, 13th of October, 2000 and something. 18th of August, 2000 and something. 14th of May, 2000 and something. 15th of April, 2000 and something. Okay, and there's a spear. Spear of Selene. Now we know what it looks like. Is that a date circled? April 15th, what? Guys, this is the week we were born. What does that oh. mean? We'll find out together. Oh, by the way, Webby knows too. Come on! I'm sorry. Total honesty from here on out. Uh. <laughs> I never even thought about how upset they were going to be when they found that out. Oh my goodness, so that was the week that they were born. So what was she writing then? Is it all family birthdays maybe? Important dates? Hmm. Aww. Hmm. Cute. There's nothing I can give you. Maybe some original family photographs. Or a leather bound volume of Mac Duck history. I'm probably just going to throw most of it away. Yes, give it to her. <laughs> no, give it to her. Give it to her. She would want it. Well, give it to her. Then. See you all in five years. 
I know, I figured that was gonna hold on. Sorry guys, something's at the door. Oh my goodness me, this is exactly what I needed, thank you. Sorry, please don't align, your call was important to me. Sorry, I, it's RSI flaring up in my wrist, so... Okay, I might have to do a couple of recordings with this on. Anyway, sorry. Right, let me take that back, yeah, okay. So she got nothing? Words can't... Aww. Oh my goodness, Webby, you got nothing out of that. If do had been beside her, he would have encouraged that. Oh, Webby. I'm so sorry. So wait, there's McDuck Tartan? What? No, surely not. Is there? Is there actually McDuck Tartan? I have to look this up now. Oh my god, it is. And it's, it's, it's hideous. It's one of the worst Tartans I've seen. No offense, but it's um pretty dang hideous. Here it is, Tartan Register. Let's see. Walt well, Disney Enterprises, yeah. Wow, it's actually, wait, this is saying a uh, Mac Duck 2. Interesting, designer Walt Disney Enterprises. This tartan was recorded prior to the launch of the Scottish Register of Tartans. Wow, tartan date, the first of the first 1942. Registration notes, ancient McDuck old colors is worn by Scrooge McDuck, uncle to the famous cartoon character Donald Duck and great uncle to Huey, Dewey and Louie, said to have been used by the US government during World War II to promote the same of war bonds. They spell McDuck differently though. Like this show is doing a McDuck MC, but this is all Mac, M-A-C. Fascinating. Did you know that I have my own tartan? I have my own registered tartan as well. This is it here. It's a, uh, you can find it yourself if you go into the Scottish tartan registry. Um, it's a, uh, under, the designer is under We Scottish Glass because that was my old channel name. Um, but the tartan is just called We Scottish because it's We Scottish Tartan. Yeah, designed and created and registered in 2017. And you're all free to use it, by the way. It's completely free to anybody who wants to use that tartan. Anyway, that was fascinating. Okay, so there was so much and yeah, not enough in that episode. But now the other brothers finally know what's going on with the mum. So anytime that there's going to be something happening with that, they're going to be involved in this too. Which is good because they should have been involved way before now. And I never really thought about that, but that is true. I'm surprised though they didn't take her stuff. Like the jacket, the bag, the goggles, and the scarf. The things that she was most famous for wearing. I'm surprised they didn't take like one thing each. One of them could have had the scarf, one of them could have had the jacket, and one of them could have had the goggles. But maybe they did and it'll come back up at a later time or day or whatever. Who knows? That was really good. Really fucking enjoyed that. This feels like the show's picking up, gonna be picking up steam now to the end. Because we've got tw episode 20, 21, 22, 23. So maybe 20 will be another filler. But I feel like we're getting to the point where most of the episodes are going to be a bit more lore heavy and involved in the plot. Either way, I'm very excited to crack on. I don't really know where it's going to go. And nobody's talking about Della like she's dead. So she's definitely alive and she's going to come back up at some point. Maybe that's going to be how this season ends as they find Della Duck. Either way, I'm really excited. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Hey, eh. Thumbs up video, <laughs> click subscribe, and leave me those fake spoilers down in the comment section down below. If you want access to the full 43 minute long version of this reaction, you can click in the link in the video description down below, it will take you to my Patreon, where I'm also usually two episodes ahead in recordings as well. But that's all I've got time for, I'll see you next time with another video. And until then, hasty back guys.